Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. I took a little break from filming on YouTube um, just for like personal reasons. I just needed like a little break. <laughs> but I'm back now. I'm back to being consistent with videos. And today's video is going to be all about glass skin. As you can see, I'll be comparing drugstore and high-end products on half-half face kind of vibes. And seeing, yeah, how they both work to create a glass skin look. If you want to see how it turns out, you can already see how it turned out. But if you want to see what products I use, then stay tuned. Got some new hair. I cut my hair. Also got new piercing. So yeah, I'm a new person. <laughs> Just going to clip my hair back so we can get the full visual. <laughs> okay, so this side is going to be high end. I'm going to do like a full face of high end. And then this side is going to be drugstore. So let's start with the base um, and primer. So to prime, we need very dewy bases. So I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance Glow Primer on this side. I've never actually used this. I actually received this yesterday. <laughs> so it's going to be like a first impressions as well. And then I'm going to use the Revlon Prime Plus Brightening Skin Tone Primer on this side. I've actually used this and I really love it. It's a great dupe for the Oola Banana Primer, as I said in another video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this first. Apply a little bit. That's actually quite a lot just for half of a face. Quite, um, it's quite watery. Oh, I mean, it is aqua. I don't know why that's surprising. I just realized the name. Um, it is quite watery, but it's not like a watery consistent. It's just very light. I've cleaned the brush, but I'm just going to use it on this side. Mm, both of them are giving me glow, but definitely this side more. Um, I think the fact that it's like aqua, like water-based kind of, is why it's giving me, you can see. Yeah, this one is much nicer. Now for foundation, this is a really, really tough one because I genuinely love both of these foundations so much. So seeing them side by side is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Weightless Foundation on this side and the EX1 Foundation on this side. I love these honestly equally as much. Um, See, I'm excited. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna clearly prefer one over the other, but we'll see. It's not full coverage, but it's definitely um, buildable and still very breathable, very light. I really like this foundation. I actually don't know which one I prefer. I'm looking at both sides. Honestly, I think they're both amazing. Like. The glow is still coming through on both sides, so honestly, I don't know. I think it will have to be oh, all the other products that decide like which side I prefer because this is tight. This is tight, tight. This side is definitely more lightweight than this side. Um, just how it feels and also the finish. I can see like way more of my skin on this side than this side, but this is buildable as well, so. If you want a bit more coverage, just add a bit more. But yeah, they're both like pretty similar. If you wanna invest in like a high-end foundation, this is the one you should go for. So today I'm gonna skip concealer because I feel like I don't really want to wear concealer. Um, so I'm just gonna go straight to brows. I've got these two pencils. I got the L'Oreal Brow Expert. Um, and also got the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I use this one all the time. Um, but let's see how it works with against this one. <laughs> Okay, so brows are done and I must say the Precisely My Brow was much easier to use than the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal is a bit too big and also the colour is a bit too much. Um, so if you're heavy handed, don't use the L'Oreal. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer the Benefit side, 100%. <laughs> For mascara, I'm using the Idol, I'm just translating it. Um, mascara by Lancome and also the Maybelline Balsies Push-Up Angel. I love both of these mascaras so much. So let's see how they work together. <laughs> I definitely think I prefer the uh, Maybelline wand. Let's move on to bronzer. The bronzers I've chosen today are more like bronzer highlighters. They're not like matte or anything like that. They're both quite shimmery. Um, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder um, Bronze Beam like highlighter bronzer 
and the Revlon Skin Lights E Bronzer. <laughs> Let's do a bit of this because I don't want it to look like bronzer, you know, I want it to look very much like skin and dewy, which is why I'm using these today. Um, otherwise, I would have used a matte, but yeah, I'm gonna use a bit of this. And now the Revlon, which is actually a powder. The other one was a cream. So they're both different consistencies, but I think they perform quite similarly. Similarly. <laughs> the Revlon is way, way, way more pigmented. I actually prefer how that finish is compared to this one. It just looks much nicer, I don't know. Um, so yeah, now on to blush. <laughs> blush, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand in High Blush in the shade Pink Gasm. And then the NYX Sweet Cheeks one that I've raved about. It's such a good quality, affordable blush. Um, so I'm really excited to compare both because I think they're quite similar again. Oh, I've gone overboard already. <laughs> Let me tone it down. Mm -mm -mm. Another Charlotte Tilbury. Both sides have like a gold shimmer to them. Um, so honestly, they're very, very similar. Just the formulas, different ones, a powder, ones, a liquid. Um, but yeah, like they're both. Yes, yes. Now onto like the star of the show. I'm using highlights and I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick because I think Fenty can be affordable like this. I think it's around 18 pounds, sometimes 16. So I think that's quite affordable. Also it's available in drugstores, so I'm gonna use it for that reason. And then I'm gonna use it against the Gucci um, Multi Face Gloss and apply it like on the high points of my face. For the Gucci one, I just like to use my fingers and a little does honestly go a long way. Like I've got so much left and I've used it so many times. It's not sticky at all. I use it on my eyelids, I use it on my lips. I use it literally, as it says, all over my face. And it just feels so comfortable to wear. It just helps not having to use like regular lip glosses on your face because it can be annoying and sticky and really uncomfortable. Um, so I just prefer to use like an actual face gloss. And now the Fenty. To finish things off, just a light lip gloss, lip oil on the lips. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs um, Hydrating Lip Oil. I love this so much. And also I'm gonna use the Lottie London Oil Slick. Both I featured so much on both my Instagram and my YouTube. Now I'm just gonna do my hair so we can see the final look and compare. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. Um, I think out of both sides, I think I prefer the high-end side, but there's definitely products in the drugstore, as I said, that I truly, truly love. But I just think the combination of all the products, just the finish just looks so lovely. Like if you take any product, I think out of both sides, it would be the Gucci multi-face highlight because I use it in so many different ways on my body, like on my collar, um, bone, on my lips, on my face, as you saw. So yeah, that and also the foundations, both of them are top, top quality, but then also the blush. So yeah, it just, I just love all the products, but all together, I think the high-end side wins. Not by a lot, but yeah, just the finish just looks nicer to me. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.